The commutative property of multiplication tells us that the order in which numbers are multiplied does not affect the product. So A times B has the same answer as B times A. You can multiply two numbers in any order and the result will be the same. Let's look at an example of this using baskets of apples. So if I have three baskets of four apples each, I'm going to draw four little apples or four little circles to represent my apples in each of my three baskets. So in this case, I've got three baskets of four apples each. And the commutative property of multiplication tells us that that is equal to having four baskets of three apples each. So if in each of these four baskets I had three apples, I am going to come up with the same number of apples in each group. Here I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And so that's three baskets of four apples each. But in this case where I have four baskets of three apples each, again I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So in both cases I have twelve apples. Looking at this using multiplication, I would say in this case that this is 4 times 3 because I have 4 apples in 3 groups or 3 baskets. And that is equal to, in this case, I would say I have 3 apples per basket, so 3 times 4 groups. So 3 times 4 in this, in this setup. But the, the whole uh, idea of the commutative property of multiplication tells us that whether we do 4 times 3 or switch them and do 3 times 4, the product, the answer, is the same. Let's look at another example of the commutative property of multiplication looking at rectangles. So if I have a rectangle that is two blocks wide and five blocks high, it is going to contain the same number of blocks as a rectangle that is five blocks wide and two blocks high. So in this case, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 blocks in my 2 by 5 rectangle. And in this case, in my 5 by 2 rectangle, let's count the number of blocks. We should also have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we can see that 2 times 5, in this case, here equals 10. A 2 block rectangle by a 5 block rectangle contains 10 blocks. And a 5 by 2 rectangle, or 5 times 2, also equals 10. So 2 times 5 equals 10, and 5 times 2 equals 10. So we can say that 2 times 5 is the same as, or is equal to, 5 times 2. And that's the commutative property of multiplication.